and you see them like walking with all the confidence in the world i'm like nigga all your feet your feet to my channel if you're new here my name is Akronamu and for today's chit chat video we're gonna be discussing okay how y'all need to stop neglecting your looks out here because people will 100% judge you by how you look point blank period like you see y'all let's just let's just let's just start this video on the best side like i'm gonna try and explain it to you first how i can 100 percent say people will judge it by how you look and then i yeah no let's just start from there okay you see this social experiment videos you know uh prank videos and all that kind of stuff you see the true I'm gonna call it you see the true nature of humans in those videos I watch them a lot okay yes it's kind of the same thing especially the prank gold digging prank whatever scenario it's the same thing the whole like the entire channel kind of posts the same content but I don't know why I keep on watching all of them I know exactly how it's gonna end but well not all the time sometimes it has a twist but the point is in those videos you do see that how you look or how you present yourself is going to determine or that is going to affect how people treat you is going to determine how people treat you like you see in the videos uh, a guy is coming up um, looking like freaking a homeless hobo and they're trying to talk to a girl the girl is like no don't talk to me and then he goes and then he pulls up in a Lambo you know it's the same kind of thing but you see to be honest let's oh, yo, let's all be honest it don't matter like who you are a guy a girl um a gold digging girl or a normal regular person if a homeless hobo someone who looks like he's gonna snatch your bag walks towards you and start like talking to you I'm not gonna lie, I'm gonna brush them off. Okay, I actually would not care if they pull up later in a Lamborghini, that's their own fault. That's on them, y'all. I'm not gonna like follow you and be like, oh hi, no, 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 no. The moment you step to me looking like that, I'm gonna back off a little bit. Because in this world right now, you don't really know people, are, like, you don't really feel safe all the time. So I'm not gonna be okay with just somebody who's looking like, 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 you know a crazy person approaches me start talking to me and start like you know having a conversation i will back away from them 100 percent. and when i am like parking or like <laughs> y'all let me tell you something um last no last last month when i was going for shopping um there was there's a long like i pack so far away the mall is it kind of like has two entrances the one the main entrance and the one from then you enter from parking um it's not really rooftop but it's a secluded shopping parking area if you've been to junction you know maybe you know exactly what i'm talking about the parking lot uh on the side of kfc if you've been there you know it if you haven't i'm sorry but it's just it's just like you know a section of parking at the corner of the building i like parking there because no matter how heavy my trolley is i'm gonna easily get to my car okay without actually struggling with this trolley trolley even if you do have to like go across the whole mall but the whole mall is flat except one tiny place that's slopey it's flat so it's kind of easy to maneuver anyway that was not the point the point was i was walking from Kafua to the parking area and there was this group of five boys guys young boys and they look kind of shady okay like they had torn i'm not talking about ragged jeans it's about torn jeans and they just looked like you know a bit questionable and they kept on stopping and, and whispering and i was behind them and maybe i'm just overreacting or maybe i overthink things or maybe i just I am very cautious when i'm out of the house but when I saw that, I stopped in the middle of, I just stopped in the middle of the mall. I'm like, I ain't moving anymore until they had distance because you never know what's going to happen. Now, that's what I'm trying to tell you all. You are going to judge how you leave that, like how you look when you're leaving the house. That's what people are going to judge you for that. Okay, if you're going to a very, ex like if you're going to an exclusive hotel or an exclusive restaurant and you're wearing shorts and like, a freaking hat i'm not talking about the classy fascinators i'm talking about like 
a random baseball hat. Like, you're even gonna be told to go. Like, it doesn't matter if you're a guy or a girl, you kinda need to look the part. Like, so, so many high class restaurants, y'all know I've been doing um, restaurant tours, even if I've kind of put it on hold for now. They're gonna come back, they're gonna come back, don't worry, they're gonna come back, I am planning for it. But, I did tour a couple of uh, restaurants, and before I go anywhere, any new restaurant, any new location, new hotel, new area, anywhere new, I Google it first. I Google, I kind of see like, you know, what's what's what, how is it, you know, and all the details. If it's a restaurant, I want to see the menu, the food, if I can be able to handle it, because I'm a very picky eater, so yeah, all those kind of stuff, and y'all, I realized something. Um, most high-end restaurants do have a dress code. I'm not saying that they tell you, oh, you're supposed to dress in a dinner dress all the time. No, 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 no. They kind of do have certain clothing that they do not accept. For example, like, if you're a man, you cannot go in with shorts and, like, a baseball hat. There is no way. That's against the dress code policy. Why? They are a high-end restaurant. They don't want people looking like crazy. Like, you know, it's not like a regular, it's not like a, a shady restaurant or a shady club. They, it's exclusive. So they want the people who go there to be exclusive, you know? You know, you know, you know, you know, you kind of look good when you're going there. Like, I have seen so many of them. Even the restaurant where I went to, where I had my birthday, um, they have a, they have a dress code. No, you know, no loungewear. Okay, don't go there in, in loungewear because it's an exclusive restaurant. So, that's what I'm trying to tell y'all. You need to look apart. Like, people would judge you how you dress. So, you need to start paying attention, close attention to your appearances, to how you look when you live in the house. Here's the thing. People might start saying that I'm being shallow, but... If you want something, if you want someone to treat you a certain way, if you want people to give you a certain kind of respect, you need to look at the part. Like, you cannot go and demand respect from people and you're dressed like a stripper, okay? Like, for example, if you are a lawyer, I'm gonna use a lawyer because those are kind of the profession that you need to be very professional even in your outfit. Um, for example, I'm a lawyer, let's just say that, okay? And I'm going to court, I have a big case I need to present in front of the judge and the jury and everybody else okay probably even the media maybe it's a high profile case right and when I'm representing my client I'm dressed in a dinner dress or I have the club wear you know the club I don't know why I'm doing in quotes the club wear you know everything exposed and stuff you know and crazy makeup for going out to the club if I appear like that in front of the jury and the judge, no matter what I have to say, regardless of what I have to say, even if what I'm saying is powerful and what I'm saying makes sense and what I'm saying is a good, I don't have, I don't know a lot of times, but it's a good argument, they're not going to take me seriously because I look like that. That's the whole point that I'm saying. I'm not saying that every time you need to be on point, you know, with the eyelashes and the lipstick and the stuff and the stuff. But in certain aspects, you kind of need to look good. Sometimes I leave the house looking like a bum. I'm not going to lie. But you know what I try to do? I try and do a, like a, a little lip gloss, you know, wear my hair because, you know, fake hair, fake hair stuff. Wear my hair and, you know, kind of look a little bit like I just... You know, like, I have been awake for a while, not going out looking like I just woke up, you know. So I kind of, like, sometimes, yes, I don't have the energy to do my hair and makeup, well, most of my makeup every single day, every single second when I'm going somewhere. But I try and try and look like someone who um, is survived, who, like, you know, who's awake, you know. So... It's not about, like, don't come at me and say, that's a shallow way to think. It's not a shallow way to think, okay? It's not a shallow way to think. It's a, it's a, it's a right way to think because how you present yourself is very important. To me, to me, personally, I believe that the first, what's it called? First appearance? No, it's called first appearance. Um, your first encounter with someone, that first 
think that first day, that first second, the first time you meet somebody, that's the most important. How you saw them, the very first time you laid your eyes on them, is the one um, perspective of them that you're gonna have for a really long time. First appearances is very important. That's where you make or break how people view you, how people see you. When I'm going to like i don't know even school y'all y'all when i'm even going to like something as as simple as school i don't go to school in like sweatpants and stuff because sometimes i do especially when i used to have 8 a.m classes but i don't think i've ever gone to school in a sweatband why because in my perspective i don't want to be perceived like that you know i always go at everything pin point like everything on point and not like crazy anything actually it's very simple like jeans and a t-shirt but i make it look so good because i pair it with like a pair of heels and my school bag and i do have like my makeup nicely done not crazily done just nicely done i can even have like just a foundation concealer and and my powder and mascara and have my eyebrows done and that's all i don't do all the craziness like right now i don't even like always i'm not always like lipstick and stuff sometimes i just have an eyeliner mascara and a little you know face action and that's all because i just want to look presentable everywhere i go and it's not about it's not a matter of only women because you know in this planet in the society we're living in today women are the ones that are supposed to be always pinpoint like a woman's always supposed to have her shit together this video is not just for women it's also for men okay there's no way i'm gonna respect you if you look like you haven't showered in a week there's no way i'm gonna approach you or there's no way i'm gonna let you approach me and talk to me if i do see from a distance your hair is unkept i don't care how much money you got in your pocket you look unkept and i don't like people who look unkept when you're outside in the house look as unkept as you want i am way i'm like the most unkept person inside the house i can spend the whole day in my pajamas and don't give a crap about nothing but i cannot leave and go like to meet people in my pajamas unless i'm moving from one house to another and even then i try and wear some loungewear clothes and i go so it's not about it's not about being feminine it's not about being a woman alone also men y'all because out here <laughs> i look at men and i wonder do you saw yourself in the mirror and you were like okay yeah that's what that's how i'm gonna look that's how i'm gonna go out no like i look at a man i'm like are you are you are you serious because you see a man he's left the house right first of all your clothes look an iron don't say, oh, my wife didn't do it. You need to learn how to iron your own clothes. Or don't start saying, oh, I don't have a wife. I'm not married. So I don't know. Like, you know, my clothes are not iron. Mm -hmm. You need to learn how to take care of yourself. And then continue taking care of yourself even when you're, when you're married and stuff. Like, ironing your own clothes. Like, child. Like, you see a guy. The, the clothes are an, an, an iron, right? The hair looks awful uncombed unwashed okay they don't even care about their skin at all like you see them they look crusty musty like really crusty musty like they haven't oiled their body since birth boy i am not even kidding you and you see them like walking with all the confidence in the world i'm like nigga all your feet your feet look like you come from i don't know you, you can't have white feet and, and you're dark skin. Like, the hell? You need to start oiling yourself and stuff. And then, you know, men are funny because when a guy takes care of themselves, you know, you know, they do their little mask, you know, they do have cleansing, cleanser for their face. They don't use the bar of soap that they wash the clothes with on their face. Men start saying, oh, you're not masculine enough. This masculine thing is what's making men leave the house looking like a bum. But anyway, anyway, the point is, if I complain about how unkept men out, out here are, I can be talking for a week. But the point is, regardless if you're a woman or a man, you need to take good care of how you look, your skin, your hair, your feet, your toes, your toenails. Yes, 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 man, I am talking to you, okay? It doesn't, it doesn't, it doesn't reduce your masculinity when you go and get your toes done. 
you know get a pedicure once in a while get a manicure once in a while it doesn't make you gay okay it doesn't doing your makeup not makeup fuck that doing your nails doing a pedicure doing a manicure doesn't make you gay guys okay it just shows that you can take care of yourself like i always see so many men like <laughs> They try and say Asian men are not masculine enough because they got soft skin and, and a face routine and a skin routine and all that. I'm like, they are incredibly attracted to me when they do that because they care about their skin. They care about, you know, their hygiene. They care about having smooth skin. Having a smooth skin for a man doesn't make you a feminine, doesn't make you a woman. Okay, like men need to like drop the masculinity acts all the time. Oh, I am a man. I don't need to oil my feet. Freaky, you look like something that came out the what Jurassic Park scenario thingy. I don't know history that well, but you look like something that just evolved from Jurassic World. That's the only um thing. Like everything on Jurassic, it's called Jurassic World. That movie. That's the only thing I know about dinosaurs and like past stuff anything like if it's unfactual then i know unfactual stuff but you know <laughs> the jurassic period i don't mess up mess up yeah i'm never gonna try and like figure out what kind of like error that was i'm not a, i don't do anything about archaeology historical whatever the point i was just trying to make is niggas oil your feet <laughs> Try and have some sort of skin routine, skincare routine, okay? Don't lotion your face. Don't don't use lotion on your face. Unless it's facial lotion, not body lotion. Don't use that on your face. Anyway, so the point of all this, okay? At the end of this all, I just, at the end of the video, let's just wait for that lawyer to pass, y'all. Let's wait for it. This house, this area has become very loud because we have like two constructions going on and another one at the far corner, at the corner, at the end of the road. So there's a lot of trucks and noises, so bear with me, okay? It's for a short time, not a long time, not forever. So anyway, y'all, this video, I just wanted to point that out, that people need to start taking care of how they look because you are going to get judged harshly. People are the many humans, okay, are the meanest human beings to walk on this earth. So, if you feel like people are always judging you, maybe you're trying to change up how you look, okay? Because I would, like, no one, okay, people don't have to say nothing to you, but the look that they give you, you know you've done something wrong. So, that is all I have for you guys today. I hope it was educational, <laughs> but... Um, I just hope like you got something from it and I just hope that you are gonna start taking care of yourself both mentally emotionally physically and you know up your appearance okay your yeah, hold up side rant I think I'm gonna stop making videos on this swingy chat thingy because now I'm distracted a little bit like when I'm trying to remember something I start swinging and I get distracted so I'm just gonna end this video right here I think I just said that I just said that. Regardless, y'all, um, that is all I have for you today. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up and comment down below what you want to see on my channel. And with that, guys, I'm going to see you in the next video. Goodbye. This was a bad idea. Wee. Wee. <laughs> She's a Mona Lisa. Everyone's lining up to see her. She's a Mona Lisa Everyone's lining